What's up guys, Sim here, and this is No Prep News, episode number 37. I'm so excited for this video. Look at the lighting. It's perfect. I think I found the perfect time of day to come out and record these videos. As long as the sun's out here shining, we'll have some perfect lighting for these videos. I'm super excited to get into this week's video with you guys, starting off with some of my favorite comments from last week. You know, we've been doing this the past couple weeks, and I like doing this at the beginning of each episode of No Prep News, because No Prep News is based around the comments you guys leave, and I thought, why not put at the very beginning some of the feel-good comments, the comments that just, you know, made me smile and I like. Starting off from Steve McKenzie, said, Sim, keep up the good work. I love your channel. You tell the truth about everything you talk about. Get your education and keep up the very, very good work in your channel. I'm an old guy, and I see you are a very intelligent young man. Very cool channel and factual. I watch my YouTube on a 55-inch smart TV. I watch every time you post videos. Old guy Steve McKenzie in Marion, Ohio. Thank you so much for that comment. Just the kind words like that, man. Just... Some people might not think it means a lot. It's just like another comment on the video, but I really read every comment. And whenever I see just nice comments like that, it truly just means so much to me. Then from Leandro Ruben Schwarz Jr. said, in my point of view, they actually can let those big money guys get in. If you watch since season one, you'll see it takes more than money to be number one. Requires money, yes, but you can't buy those guys' talent. Sorry, my broken English. Cheers from Brazil. When I saw it was from Brazil, I was like, man, I had to put that in there. Man, your English, you were better than most of the comments I read most of the time. You, you actually spelled all the words right, so thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for leaving the comment and for watching from all the way out in Brazil. I was talking to my dad about this last night. I was, He was telling me that he watches these videos and he's seeing people comment say they're, they're from all over the place. He's like, that's crazy. These guys get them like that. I got the same stuff on my videos. Like, I got a guy I'm going to talk about tomorrow that said he's from Brazil. So, so that's just blows my mind. We got guys from all over the world watching. Thank you so much for commenting. And regarding your comment, I agree with you that, yes, it takes more than money for these guys to be number one. Because you look at, yeah, someone can come up with a whole bunch of money. And yes, we've seen people like that succeed in the past. But for the most part, it does come down to that raw talent and money can't buy you the win. You actually have to have the skill in order to get the win. One last thing I want to mention is shout out to Billy T with your comment from last week. Man, that comment was great. Thank you for that. And now time to get into some other comments regarding last week's main topic. Starting off with Joshua Lake said, Hey Sim, I agree. He's definitely unleashing a monster on the whole street slash no prep scene. Team Fireball is my favorite team and Team 405, the real street outlaws, the OG guys. I was like, man, that's a perfect way to describe it. He's unleashing a monster on us all. Just, I couldn't have put it any better myself. Then Jeff White said, One thing I like about Ryan Martin is he does most of his talking with his car. Sometimes it gets too much to listen to those guys brag about their cars, then go out and lose. And I agree with you. I was thinking about this. Like we mentioned, we never really see Ryan Martin knock the tires off on the Street Outlaws show. We never really see him really out there talking trash, talking smack with everyone. He d He's like calm, cool, and collective, then goes out and just smokes everybody. I mean, you're it, you're right, 100% right about that. It's just, he's just that like... He doesn't need that extra, I don't know, like like the Conor McGregor, how he's out there talking trash, doing all this, that. Ryan Martin doesn't need that to show how good at this stuff he is because he, like you said, just lets his car do the talking. Then from Tony Landers said, uh-oh, the new car going to run all over Lizzie Musi and Kai Kelly along with everybody else, and Big Chief is going to be a lot faster next year. 405 all the way. Now, I don't know about that because you got Kai Kelly coming out with his brand new car. Lizzie Musi, her car's wicked fast. Chief's coming out with a new car as well. I don't know if that car is going to be exactly for No Prep Kings. We'll have to wait and see for that. But nevertheless, Ryan Martin is going to be out there probably at the top with his new car, no doubt. Although you can't just disregard everyone else because look at who he's racing against. Look how long these guys have been racing in this format. Look how long these guys such as Kai Kelly and Big Chief have been at the top. And look at the caliber of car they're bringing to the fight. It is, it'll always be competitive. It'll always be fun to watch. But it seems like going into it, Ryan Martin has a competitive edge unlike anyone else we have seen. And now getting into some news. We even had like news stuff to talk about the past couple weeks in no prep news. So I'm excited to get into the stuff we got this week. 
Starting off with some amazing sights from Jay Bodie Jr. Carrying the front wheels in the air for about 400 feet. Now, I don't know if this was at an unprepped or prepped track, but nevertheless, this has to be one of the coolest passes we've seen in 2020. I'll show you guys the video clip of it right now. over to Lyle Barnett and we've been talking about him here and there in no prep news and it looks like he's been going out and getting more and more involved in the no prep scene with his Fox Buddy Mustang from the Horsepower Wars show if I'm not mistaken that's what it's called the car is known as beer money and this thing was out there putting in work once again they made a post said beer money for the win baby i can't say enough about my team we rolled into jj's arm drop race with a goal and we smashed it taking home ten thousand dollars and a small tire win on 28s thank you to all the companies that stand behind our program she's on a roll seeing stuff like that like he's a big name guy in radio racing i'll always be a fan of lyle barnett because you know he drives the tooth jerker the 60 God, I look like an idiot. <laughs> 68 or 69 dart? Nevertheless, he drives a Dodge dart. And I just loved watching them in the Horsepower Wars show. I thought they were, like, he he's just got that competitive, just, I, I don't know, th just that competitive instinct about him, that just diehard mentality. I just love his, just, like, how his whole persona persona in drag racing and how he is and how he treats and how he acts when he's there i just think it's really cool and i think it's really cool to see him come into the no prep scene more and more we've been seeing him slowly get involved with him more and more and it's really cool to see him take a win at a jj's arm drop race and now time to give the main topic and the main topic this week i believe is about the exact same jj's arm drop race and we got a comment from carolina S550 said, I went to JJ's arm drop in Mooresville, North Carolina last night, and oh my god, Megalodon's car is so damn fast, and so is JJ's blue car with the new motor in it. Now, a lot of us have been wondering and asking about how fast is JJ's new car really going to be, and what has happened to Megalodon, and... Shout out to Carolina S550 for helping us out here, giving us some more information. I replied to him, and he replied again with, seriously, those two cars are crazy fast. So is Anthony Smith's car, Hercules. He was right there with Megalodon and lost by maybe half a car. Now, people have known how fast Megalodon is. He is one of the fastest in no prep. And if he comes back to no prep kings, because if I'm not mistaken, he's no longer competing in no prep kings. If he were to come back to it, he would no doubt be one of those guys that is fighting there at the top with Ryan Martin. His car is just insanely fast. And I've been telling you guys from Street Dollars Memphis, probably the fastest guy the Memphis crew's got is Anthony Smith and Hercules. I've been telling you guys this the past couple months. People haven't believed me and stuff, but going out within half a car with Megalodon, look how fast Megalodon is. And I know you guys know how fast he is because you tell me all the time in the comments how fast you think Megalodon is. And Anthony Smith is within half a car of him. That just goes to show how fast Anthony Smith's Hercules. I believe it's a pro-charged, I think it's pro-charger, on his Chevy Nova. That thing is insanely fast. And you left one of the comments here right at the end. I didn't see what it was. I got some nice videos. If you have a way, I can send you some. Shoot. Man, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see. Okay. Oh, if you, Carolina S550, if you're watching this right now, DM me on Instagram at CNBCXYZ and please send some videos. I'll be more than happy to put them in next week's episode of No Prep News. But that right there, the stuff you told me was just awesome news to hear. People have been asking so much about JJ's new car. Will it actually be fast? Will he be competitive with it? What's the deal? And I'm super happy to hear from you that it is actually fast. Someone that was there in person saw the race. You coming back and saying that the car actually was really fast, that is just, uh, that's just awesome to hear. I'm looking forward to seeing more of that car in the near future. Then again with Anthony Smith, hearing how he was within half a car of Megalodon, that is just, I'm telling you guys, Anthony Smith is the real deal. The fastest car the Memphis crew has got, in my opinion. Then moving on over to Megalodon. Without a doubt, arguably one of the fastest cars in no prep racing he is just wicked fast and from what i understand from what a lot of you guys are telling me is he is not planning on racing in this upcoming season 
of No Prep Kings. And I'm wondering if you guys think that'll hurt No Prep Kings losing someone such as that. Now, I, he's not necessarily like a big name. I, I'm, when I say big name, I'm comparing him right now to guys like Ryan Martin, Big Chief, and Kai Kelly. He's not one of those top, top tier names. But he is a big name in the world of No Prep Racing. And he is, without a doubt, one of the fastest. He might not be the top name, but he's in that top tier for how insanely fast his car is. And I this really brings up an interesting topic with if he goes off and doesn't do no prep kings, he goes off and does other sorts of no prep racing like we see him doing JJ's arms up. We know a lot of the Memphis guys don't necessarily race in the no prep king series and we're seeing a guy from no prep king series come out and race with those guys. So I'm wondering if he will be essentially the pioneer to someone becoming a big big name in no prep in this current era of no prep and not doing it through no prep kings i'm really interested in seeing how this plays out if he continues to not race in no prep kings how popular he will remain how much we will see him succeed i'm sure if he continues racing he will continue to win because that car is wicked fast but i'm wondering to see the popularity and stuff and see how this does for other events getting a big name guy from no prep kings stop doing no prep kings go out to a smaller track at a smaller event i wonder how all this will play out in the near future and it's really cool though because he's going out to a no prep race that is going on right now when no prep kings is not going on so there's a lot of factors playing into it right now and i'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays out in the near future but i think it's safe to say right now that ryan martin does have a couple of big name competitors out there guys such as big chief kai kelly lizzie musi some of the baddest of the bad in no prep racing but without a doubt megalodon has to be a name that you mention when you're talking about the baddest in no prep so that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you all so much for watching to the very end of this video. And man, I don't know what it is. The past couple weeks, I've just been coming out here recording these just as the words are flying out of my mouth and I'm having so much fun recording these. And I just am so glad to see you guys are enjoying these videos so much. Again, it's through a time where there isn't too much news to necessarily discuss. So we talk a lot about the comments that you guys leave and I'm glad to see you guys are still enjoying it. And I thank you all so much to all those that leave your comments every single week week and thank you all so much for watching right now ttve to the very end that is all for this week's episode make sure you guys tune in tomorrow on monday for a new episode of red light questions wednesday for a new random video friday for a new episode of serious talk then next sunday for another new episode of no prep news all these videos upload go live at 6 p.m central standard time so make sure you guys click that little bell turn the notifications on so this is a single video that upload again all my videos go live at 6 p.m central standard time and make sure you leave your thoughts and opinions on everything we discussed in the comment section down below top comment and some of my favorite comments from this week's episode will be read in next week's episode of no prep news betsy shirts and hoodies are also available at cmsxyz.weebly.com or first link down below in the description i also set up a p.o box so if you guys want to send me stuff address is down below in the description again that is all thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys follow me on instagram at sim abc xyz don't forget to like and subscribe and this is sim abc xyz signing out